Hi, I'm Melissa Wilson. I'm your local manure management specialist from the University of Minnesota. Wanted to give an update on some of our research that we're doing. For the past couple of years, we've been trying to side dress liquid swine manure into standing corn to try to open up that window of opportunity for applying manure in different ways. This year, we've moved on to using a tanker system. In the past, we've been using a liquid drag hose system. There's definitely some pros and cons to each. With the drag hose system, you might not have as much soil compaction because you don't have a heavy tanker behind you, but you will have to deal with the drag hose dragging over standing and living corn. Versus the tanker system gives you a little more flexibility on timing of application, and you don't have to worry about that hose being dragged over the corn. So this year, we're looking at tanker applications at different growth stages of the corn. We went into the corn at the V1 growth stage, which refers to the first leaf collar of the corn being emerged. We also went in at V3, so the third leaf collar was emerged, and V7, the seventh leaf collar was emerged. This last one, the V7 application, is getting a little later than we can do with a drag line system. You don't want to be dragging over corn later than V4 or V5. So this gives us an opportunity to look at, can we apply later in the season with a tanker system? Now, because this is on farm, we wanted to compare it to the farmer's traditional practice. And he usually applies anhydrous ammonia around the V3 or V4 growth stage. We will be testing soil compaction, soil nitrate and ammonium levels over the growing season. We'll come back in the fall and look at yields and we'll also look at moisture content of the grain to see if that differs between the nutrient sources. So check back often to see some updates.